welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about projects that I like that recently came on my radar, which you can still get whitelisted for. If you want to win the 0.1 Ethereum that I'm going to be raffling off when I reach 20,000 subscribers, be sure to stay until the end of the video. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion, and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. The first project on our list is Web Generated Modular Interfaces, WGM Interfaces for short, which also looks a lot like we're going to make it. So we don't have too much info to go on for this project we do know that it will be a 10,000 nft collection on their website and their twitter they do mention that there is no roadmaps or promises just vibes so this is going to be an art-based project but the art as you can see from this character on their website looks amazing if we turn to their twitter we get a ton more sneak peeks at what some of these pieces are going to look like and i really like how clean and minimalistic they look we also get to see who the artists are behind this project as they are all docs so you can go see their previous work as well as their experiences with nfts as they do sell their work on foundation so as i said this is purely an art based project and the supply is quite large so at the moment until we get more information it's very hard for me to evaluate how this project is going to perform but the content they're putting out is really intriguing my interest now normally i would be suspicious of a project not having a discord and having 15,000 followers on Twitter. However, the artists do seem to have a decent following themselves and their posts do seem to get a decent amount of engagement. So Discord for this project is not open yet. If you are interested in this project, I would suggest turning on notifications for their Twitter. That way when they drop the link to this Discord, you can get in first and you might land yourself an OG role. The next project on our list is still in its early stages. However, they have managed to already get 11,000 members on their Discord and that is Overclouds. Now we are in a phase of many pixel art projects and later throughout the week, I'm going to be talking about all the pixel dragons, dinosaur, ape, Kong, all those different projects. However, the reason I chose to talk about this today is purely based on the art. A lot of effort has gone into making these. They basically look like pixelated Gundams. Now these aren't final. They mentioned their works in progress, but nonetheless, they look great. Now the plans for this project are available in their FAQ on their Discord as the website has not yet been released. So they're gonna have 7,777 NFTs and they're gonna be going for 0.07 Ethereum. And some of their plans are that all holders will be able to mint a companion for their clouds. 700 and 77 holders who hold the most clouds will be able to mint 777 overlord clouds in the future they plan on doing nft staking that's going to generate cloud tokens and the cloud tokens are going to be used to redeemed future nft collections digital collectibles and to participate in events it would be really cool if you can use their cloud tokens to modify your nft maybe add a weapon or a shield or different armor to your overcloud nft but that's obviously a huge task to take on and to even be discussing at this stage now from what i can see the team Team is completely anonymous so keep that in mind if you are considering investing in this project their launch is scheduled for sometime in December and whitelist is still available so I will be keeping a close eye on this project as more information as well as their website is released however for the time being I do feel like aping into this project the next project I want to talk about is called the littles so I listened to the AMA available in their discord and the founder of this project really stresses that it is an art project at its core so they will not be sharing the roadmap until after the launch and the reason for that is they don't want to attract flippers they want people in their community who actually love the project for what it is and then later on they're going to release their roadmap and what their plans are for the future and only then will they release how they're going to start building value for their existing holders now i personally really respect that and it made me want to get into this project even more now there is no website and just by looking at their discord my first impression was that this was a one-man team now obviously i knew it wasn't just one person but it did come off as quite small however in the ama he did discuss his team and i believe that they were 10 people the most notable being an animator who works for the show Rick and Morty. Now the first thing I saw when I looked into this project was a tweet from the founder on how to create a successful project and right away after reading this I followed him. He's also fully doxxed as he has a YouTube channel and just by listening to what he had to say in the AMA you can tell that this is a passion project for him and something that he wants to work on long term. Now this is always a good sign when you want to invest in something a good founder that cares about their project. Another positive catalyst is that they are the first project to have been selected for the Kong's tank which is a great community so i'm sure that the littles is about to have way more demand than it already does which is insane considering that there is no roadmap as for the art i'm a big fan of pixel projects and i'm really liking the art that they've put out so far so there's no leveling there's no grinding there's no invite contest they really just want to attract people who are interested in this project you can however still get whitelisted and mentioned that they were going to give away roughly 40 to 50 percent of the supply to their community via whitelists now i wasn't able to find the official supply anywhere however during the ama he did say 
4,000 to 5,000. Now, I'm not sure if this was a slip up because he kept saying 40 to 50%. So for the moment, I'm going in assuming that the supply for this is going to be anywhere from 8,000 to 10,000 NFTs. So I am really interested in getting one or multiple of these. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't trying to flip at least one of these. Ideally, I'll be able to get two. That way I can hold one for the long term. And the second one I can flip in order to pay for the first one. That way I can hold it for free. But that's really going to depend on the developments of this project as more information is released and the demand that builds up. But for the moment, I am interested in holding this long term, purely based on the founder's attitude towards his project, his team, and his community. The final project I want to talk about today is Starcade. So I recently saw this on Twitter, and their Discord was not open yet. If we look on their website, it said that their Discord was supposed to open on December 1st. However, today, one of my Patreon members did post a link to their Discord, and I was able to get an OG spot. So thank you, Mr. Cobbs. Bless your heart. I owe you one for that OG spot. So the art for this project looks great. I really love the colors. When I first saw this, I was convinced that it was going to be a play to earn game. However, this project is actually going to be a tabletop game that is going to release in late 2022. So based on what I've seen so far, the initial drop is going to be purely art based. And then in one year's time, you're going to be able to get this game in real life. Now, I'm not sure how the NFTs are going to be related to the game. But as I said, it's still really early. The Discord was only opened yesterday. So over time, I'm sure we're going to find out more and more information. So the founders for this project are public. And I found a ton of information on Signal Noise, whose real real name is James White. So if you Google signal noise, this website actually pops up and here you can see a ton of James's previous work, which is awesome. It really has a retro vibe to it. If you've ever listened to a synth wave mix on YouTube, this is probably what the thumbnail looked like. At least the colors, it's very retro. It's very 80s. It's very Miami. He also has some work on OpenSea. So I'm going to put a link for that in the description down below if you wanted to check out this collection. Now, as I said, the Discord only opened yesterday and this information hasn't been released, but I'm sure if you wanted to get a whitelist spot, your odds are very high. However, there aren't that many channels that are set up. Their Discord is still pretty bare bones. I just wanted to show you this project and put it on your radar. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And the more of a channel grows, the more I can give away. Speaking of which, I am giving away 0.1 Ethereum when I reach 20,000 subscribers. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe to my channel, retweet my pinned tweet, tag one friend in the comments of my pinned tweet, and follow me on Twitter. If you want to join my Patreon, I'm constantly getting a ton of whitelist for my patrons. If you wanted to join the free Discord, if you want to buy crypto in Canada and get free money when you make your first trade, links for all that in the description down below. If you are already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.